Hi, I'm Cheryl Vernette, and today we're going to look at Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off. Let's start by taking a look at it. You can see that it is indeed very stretchy. Something else that you will notice is that there are these little um, bars or wraps around each of the passed over stitches on the top. Notice how it came back pretty nicely after I stretched it. I didn't have to coax it very much. Let's compare it to the decreased bind off that we did, the stretchy decreased bind off. It's about the same amount of stretch. It has a slightly different look. The decreased bind off is more conventional looking along the top here, whereas this has that little loop. But I'll, so they're sort of comparable when you're working on um, stocking it, to my mind. However, I'll show you where the difference came in for me. This is the, the decreased bind off that we did last time, and it made this two by two rib sort of flare out because it's pretty straight. Whereas Jenny's, look at how beautifully that follows compared to this. I think this is going to be my new favorite bind off for ribbing. Here it is, I did it in two by two rib and I did it in one by one rib. And it did the same thing. It did this sweet little zigzag thing. So um, I now am going to show you how to do it. I have here a knit section and a purl section. And then when this is done, I'm going to show you how to do it on a knit one, purl one rib. That's because in front of every knit stitch, you have a yarn over that's slightly different from every purl stitch. But the basic idea is that you put a yarn over in front of every stitch before you pass it over the next stitch. And for the first stitch, I think we just knit. Although I did do, um, one of those yarn overs a couple of times, but I think the first stitch can just be knit. So the yarn is in back, bring it around for a yarn over. That's actually a reverse yarn over. Then pass the yarn over your stitch, oops, we're splitting a little bit here, and then pass the stitch over, just like a regular bind off. So again, the yarn is in the back because we're getting ready to knit. Bring the yarn around, so you have a reverse yarn over, knit, pass over the yarn over, pass over the knit stitch. Bring the yarn, <clears throat> and a regular yarn over, you come to the front and just go that direction, but you're in the back already, wrap from the back. That's the easiest way to remember. When you're in the back, you're gonna wrap from the back. When you're in the front, getting ready to purl, you're gonna wrap from the front. Now, I watched Cat Bordy do this, and the brilliant cat, of course, came up with a shortcut. Instead of passing these over individually, pass one, pass two, she passes them both at the same time, because that is essentially the same move. Again, around from the back, knit one, pass the yarn over and the prior stitch to it. See these little necks that are forming or these little collars or bumps that are forming? They are actually the yarn over and they feed into the stitch above and that's what gives it that stretchiness. One more time for the knit from the back. You can pass these over one at a time or you can pass both of those over at once. And here we are at our purl section. <clears throat> In order to purl a stitch, when the neck, or when the next stitch is a purl, you bring the yarn around to the front like you ordinarily would for a purl, and you do a yarn over from the front, purl, pass the yarn over, over your purl, oopsie, <laughs> these knitting needles are too long. I bought some dowels today and a pencil sharpener, you guys, an old-fashioned wind-up pencil sharpener. I'm in the front, right? The kind you wind and not those electrical things, which you can't control. 
and I am going to make myself some shorter knitting needles. And if it succeeds, I'm going to show you how to do it. Oops, do the second one. It's the length when I'm trying to work in front of the camera that make it a little more cumbersome. So here we go, I gotta stop talking. I'm in the, my yarn is in the front because I'm going to purl. I wrap it around for a yarn over and I purl. Pass over one, pass over two, or one more time, I'm in the front, I wrap from the front, I purl, and you can pass both of these over at once. Okay, so let's set these aside. You can see, there it is. Good looking, very stretchy. This is a pretty stretch. This is just a regular um, long tail cast on that I did, but I was careful to make sure that I put distance between them. So I, I would be really happy with that stretch. Let's try it with a knit one, purl one rib. And now, I really can't talk very much because you have to think about this. Okay, so when we do a yarn over, this time I'm going to do the yarn over from the back. And when I do that, it comes over, and it doesn't come over quite the way it's supposed to. Um, so I'll wrap it. Um, and I don't know if you're supposed to do the first stitch. Usually people do this in the round, but you can do it. We'll just compare that. Okay, now we're going to come around because it's a purl stitch. This is a knit one purl one rib, and I'm going to wrap it first. Then I'm going to purl, pass the wrap over. <laughs> I found this was a little bit like patting your tummy and rubbing your head because you've got knits and purls. Go back for the knit, do a yarn over from the back, knit, pass over one, pass over two. Bring the yarn around to the front for your purl. Do your yarn over, purl, pass them over one at a time, or pass over both of them at once. Yarn to the back, yarn over, knit, pass over, Yarn to the front to purl, yarn over, purl, pass over, oops, <laughs> pass over two if you don't drop your stitch, and yarn to the back to knit, yarn over from the back, knit, pass over, I'll do one at a time, it's a little bit easier with these needles. One at a time, and let me show you. I've been telling you that I just cut it and pull it through, but I want to show you that I don't. Um, I don't pull it through this last loop. I just pull it through like this. Oops. Let's find the end. There we go. All right. So look at how that. These are the last few stitches I did, but it it wants to just be corrugated, just like the rib, and there it is. Thank you for joining me today, and thank you, Jenny Stamen, for this gift of a bind-off that so many people are enjoying. Um, and until I see you again, be brave. Try out new things, make it playful for yourself, and enjoy your knitting. Hi, I'm Cheryl Brunette. <laughs> well, yeah, aren't you? And today we're going to look at a gift from Jenny Stamen. It is her very Jenny's surprisingly stretchy find-off, something like that.